Hello and welcome to episode four of Villains Rebuilt, I hope. I can't remember whether it's three or four, sorry. For those of you that follow me on Twitter, I've got a bit of an apology to make. I had a bit of a a meltdown after I'd recorded the last episode whilst I was editing it. Um, the game crashed and took me back two games. So the game that you saw in the last episode never happened in this world. Um, I was already in a, bit, in a bit of a bad mood because obviously, as you could tell from the last video, having a stressful day and then the game just seemed to not make any sense to me. So um, I was in a bad mood. I threatened to quit and then um, realised that that was a little bit silly and I was taking things a bit far. So the first thing I'm going to do is take you through and show you how form has been in this version because obviously last time you were with us we lost to Bolton as you can see um that's no never never happened so on the last episode I showed you that we'd beaten Wolves 4-1 uh, sorry 4-0 and we'd absolutely hammered them um when we played them the second time around we didn't play anywhere near as well Jonathan Codger got a, a lucky goal and we were more dominant in terms of stats but we were less dominant on the pitch and I, we were really lucky to uh, to win that game we then had a 1-0 against Bolton a 1-0 against Hull a 2-1 against Reading we've drawn with Norwich and Cardiff beaten Leeds beaten Ipswich and then I got carried away because I said to you if we were still within an outside chance of the playoffs we'd come back and do two games um the final two games of the season now I'm sorry that hasn't happened but um I got carried away and played the derby game um, when we started the derby game, we were actually in the playoff positions. Um, we were, you know, a, a, a draw against a team that's already promoted and looks odds on favour to win the league is not too bad a result. But it's meant that um, we are equal on um, goals scored, I think. include uh, You can't see that from this table. We're certainly equal on goal difference, but um, Preston have got a better head-to-head -head record against us. I know that, so... At the moment, we are um, in seventh. That means we have to win today and hope that either Preston or Middlesbrough slip up or Ipswich and Sunderland. Uh, so I suppose if, if, if Ipswich slip up as well, we'll go ahead of them on goal difference um, or there's going to be a massive swing in goals for, for us to finish above Sunderland. So realistically, we are looking for one of Preston, Middlesbrough and Ipswich, or one of Preston and Middlesbrough to draw or lose if we can win and Ipswich to lose, and even if Middlesbrough draw, there, there's going to be um, issues. So realistically, we need one of those three teams to lose, and uh, we need to we need to make sure that we win today. So that's the situation going into this uh, final game of the season. Um, if we do get um, into the playoffs, then I will make sure that the the semi finals are a double epi double game episode. And then the final is a uh, is an episode all on on its own. This is being recorded on Friday night. This is the first chance I've had to record this, so you'll probably be looking at a Saturday release for this, and then a Sunday. I'm going to try and get the playoffs um, all out on the same day, so I might do like a lunchtime Sunday upload if we are in the playoffs. If we're not in the playoffs, I don't expect the video out on Sunday. We'll just have um, we'll just start the new season um, on Monday's episode. But if we make the playoffs, um, the playoffs will come out on Sunday lunchtime ish. And if we then make the, the playoff finals, I'll do a Sunday afternoon or Sunday evening upload as well. But um, that's getting way ahead of ourselves at the moment. We've got to. We, the, the, this is not in our hands. We've got to hope that results go our way. So as you can see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort this team out and then I'll take you through what the starting lineup is going to be today. So here we go. The starting lineup today, Sam Johnson in goal, Alan Hutton, James Chester, John Terry and Neil Taylor is the back four. Glenn Whelan as a ball winning midfielder, Hurahane as a box to box midfielder and Matty Palmer as um, an advanced playmaker with Ronnie Lopez on the right, Snodgrass on the left and Jonathan Codger up front. The bench, we've got Jed Steer. Elphick, Kyle Walker-Peters, Bjornsson, who is injured, but I'm going to risk leaving on the bench. Reese Nelson, Yedinak, who is there, because I want somebody who can go in and play in a defensive midfield position if I need it. Um, and Scott Hogan. Um, Lucas Moore is injured, um, otherwise he would be on the bench for 
Um, Elfaco may even start instead of John Terry, but um, other than that, really, Zella Lim has been on the bench a couple of times, but he's been playing for the reserves, and um, I don't want anybody who's not fully match fit. So I'm I'm pretty happy that we've got almost the strongest team we could possibly put out put out, with the exception of maybe Bjarnason in for Palmer. Um, and maybe Reese Nelson can feel a, a little hard done by that he's not starting, and El Mohamedy might feel hard done by that he's not on the bench. But I'm I'm confident in this team. Saying that, I've stopped the game since I was on the the big long winning run. Uh, sorry, the big long undefeated run. I think we've gone ten games undefeated. So I'm sure that the game is going to say nope. You've closed the game and reopened it, so you're going to start off with a loss and you're not getting in the playoff. So I forgot to mention that we're playing Millwall today. I think that's the first time I've mentioned that in this episode. Um, that's the Millwall team, if you're interested. I don't think I recognise any of them. Elliot, maybe. Oh, Tunnicliffe was at, um, in one of um, one of Lelujo's stream, and, and I think that might be George Savile, who used to be at Chelsea, but that's a guess. Um, I'm not familiar with Millwall. I can't even remember. I did have a look where they were in the league, but I can't remember off the top of my head. But I don't think they're challenging for the top six like we are. Let's see if we can... Uh... Oh, you're kidding me. Matty Palmer's injured straight away. So Palmer's condition has dropped to 77%. I'm pretty sure it wasn't like that. when we. pretty sure he was at like 98% or something. So already we're going to have issues. I'm going to leave him on for now, but it looks like the injured Bjornsson um, is going to be coming on at half time, if not earlier, if Palmer gets injured. So the first highlight is for them. Cross comes in, Webster scores, Elliot, I don't know, whoever it was, Ferguson with the ball in, Webster's nodded it forward and Elliot has put it in. 1-0 to Millwall, and like I say, we're being punished for closing the game down. I am going to Go attacking because we can't afford to lose. So the ball's gone forward. Palmer's got it. Wheeling Palmer out to Ronnie Lopez into Codger. Codger back to Palmer. Palmer out to Taylor. Back into Palmer. Snodgrass. Palmer out to Taylor into Hurahane. To Wheeling. Taylor. Palmer. Hurahane through to Codger. Codger through to Ronnie Lopez and unlucky. Straight down the goalkeeper's throat there, I think. Uh, so they're playing the ball out wide to Walters, in from McLaughlin, and it's straight to Sam Johnson. Can we break from this? He plays it up to Snodgrass, wheeling into Palmer. Palmer plays it forward and it's cut out. Back to him again. Palmer again. Ronnie Lopez is through again, and it's a good save from their goalkeeper. We've still got the ball, though. Still keeping the pressure on. Hurahane Palmer has a shot from distance, and it's well wide of the target. Corner comes in, well cleared by them. Snodgrass has got it out to Palmer. Palmer's involved in everything, but seems to be the the injury seems to be affecting him. Whatever it is, it's taking the condition off him. I think we're we're not far away from uh, having to make a change for Palmer because he's just everything's coming through him and it's just not quite going right. So they're building, building, keeping possession there well for um, Millwall. We've cleared it a couple of times, but they just keep coming back. Elliot's going behind John Terry, and that's a goal. So Savile back to Webster, Webster over to Cooper, who plays a long ball. Elliot has run round uh, round the corner off of John Terry in behind him, and has managed to score. And that's two 0 to Millwall. From the stats there, that we've been controlling this game, but they've had the better of it. And Willis has got a third, and that's it. And we're not getting promoted this season. No episodes on Sundays, guys. Nobody marking him, and he's just had a. a I don't know what's going on there. Ronnie Lopez is now injured. Ah, uh, fucking fantastic. Making two substitutions. Ronnie Lopez is injured. Palmer is, is knackered. So, Hurahane's going to come in and be the advanced playmaker. Bjornsson moves out to be that um, the box-to-box midfielder um, to bring Palmer off. And I've brought uh, Reese Nelson on for Ronnie Lopez. Reese Nelson's gone out to the left and Snodgrass has come over to the right. Um, I'm going to have a look at the team instructions, see if I think there's anything we can do. We're going to exploit the flanks, try and get the ball cleared there as well, try and just get some something happening. We work ball into the box, we've had a lot of shots, but nothing's happening, and let's just see if we can actually do something. 
see if we can get back into this game at all. I, I can't see it. From 3-0 down, I can't see it. Not with the way football manager is this year. So Snodgrass has the ball. Terrible pass. Reese Nelson's won the back, though. Again, terrible clearance. I might have to turn that, clear the ball to the flanks off, because I think that's just making people kick at long range, not look where it's going. 4-0. So, Ferguson crosses the ball in to Elliot, who squares it to Morrison. Nobody's picking up a man. It's awful defending. I think I've just made us miss a goal. Sorry. So, Morrison tries to clear. Hurahain is on it in a flash. Cuts it back to Whelan, who smashes it. I think it's their goalkeeper, uh, their defender, or possibly Codger, and it's gone in the net. So, it looks like it's hit Codger. 4-1 at half time and we've um, we've had the most recent goal but I, I can't see us turning this round uh, we've only got one substitution left so we're not doing anything now let's just uh, see how this this second half goes so Sam Johnson clears it to Whelan back to Hurahane Kodja Bjornsson it's gone nowhere Chester's could have brought it back though Whelan's got it out to Bjornsson Snodgrass is through but doesn't doesn't manage to pick the ball up. Here Haynes in. Codger. Codger. Into Reese Nelson. Codger. And that's 4 2. Maybe the comeback is on after all. I think this game is just trying to give me a heart attack. Codger's in. Out to Reese Nelson. Cuts it back across. Codger's gone there for the 1 2. And that's put it in the corner to make it 4 2. Still time, maybe. Let's have a, have a look at how the league table is at the moment. A win would get us into the playoffs. A win would get us into the playoffs. Preston are playing badly. Preston must be losing, drawing. Preston must be drawing. So we've got to win. So we've still got three goals. So there's there's not much. I don't think there's much chance of three goals happening. We might look out and get two. Right, there's no point in sitting back. It's, you know, there's there's 15 minutes left of this season if we don't we don't win this game. So, Alan Hutton, you're going to be a centre-back. Um, and you're going to be a central defender on stopper, because that's what you want to be. Taylor, I'm going to stick you up front and then take you off. Codge is going to stay as a complete forward. Hogan is going to come in and be the advanced forward that he wants to be on attack. We are going to go overload, because why the hell not? There's, there's no reason to not attempt to, to win this game. We're going to take all this exploiting the rubbish off and working ball into the box off. We're going to take more risks. We're going to up the tempo to as high as it'll go. Uh, we're going to push the the line up, play at the highest tempo we can. We're going to close down as much as we possibly can. We're going to play route one. We're going to, or we're going to play as direct as we can without playing route one because I don't think we've got the strikers to to win the ball. And we're just going to see if we can do. Anything in this last 15 minutes to to maybe pluck a win with two wingers and two in sorry two strikers and two inside forwards and of course because I've gone more attacking there are now no highlights no highlights for Matt so that's it game over and that's the end of the season so when we came to Villa uh, we decided to tell the board that we'd finish in the top half of the and that's what we've done. I think we've finished eighth, um, which is, you know, we were two points outside the playoffs, I think. Yeah, so we're, we've finished eighth for two points outside the playoffs. We're going to have to try and build on this for next season, see if we can get some of the players that have come in on loan to to make permanent deals. Um, we might have a total squad reshuffle. I, I need to have a, a look at that. So what I'm going to do now is I'll play the preseason offline. I will have a think about whether this is the save that we're going to continue. I think it is. I think you come back on Monday and I think it will be the new season. We'll see how that goes. So Derby have won the Premiership, uh, the championship, which is annoying because uh, Derby offered me a job and I told them I didn't want it. So <laughs> that was silly of me. Um, so Ronnie Lopez twisted his ankle. What did Matty Palmer do? Uh, pulled his hamstring 
with the first kick of the bloody game and basically ruined that game for us. Um, and Bjornsson, I, I've knackered his injury. So he's got a twisted ankle. So they're all out for for a few weeks. Should all be back for the start of next season. But um, unless I, I can sign Lopez and Mull on a, an, on a free, which I don't think I can, I don't think we'll... Uh, we might possibly get them on loan again, but other than that, I don't think we'll see them again this season. Uh, we'll see them again next season. Um, like I say, we'll come back and we'll see how um, see how things are going uh, after pre-season on Monday, unless I've decided that I'm doing a different save. Um, I'll keep you updated on Twitter, so if you don't already follow me on Twitter, I'm at Manxchel, so that's M-A-N-X-C-H-E-L-S. And um, yeah, Thank you very much for watching the video. If you've enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you want to find out if, uh, find out any more content that I'm producing, uh, please subscribe to the channel. And thank you very much for watching.